let's go over the bonnet with a lady that really is truly inspirational. Renee McAlpin, welcome to Over the Bonnet. Thanks for joining us here on Out in the Country, Over the Piano. Yes. So, okay, tell me the Renee story. Well, I started about 20 years ago and I went down to a pub here in Lismore, my local pub, and the Manning family were actually playing down there. And I sang a couple of songs in the, when I was in the audience and, and Lynn Manning, who saw me sing along to one of the songs that Matt Manning was playing. And um, she was reeling in this great big, huge microphone. I thought she was reeling in a fish. But um, <laughs> she put the microphone in front of my face and I just kept on singing, whether they were correct words or not. And then she asked me to stay after the show and so I stayed and she talked to me about my singing and gave me a couple of songs to practice. So why'd you get up in the first place? Well, because, you know, I was just sitting, because it was actually a party that we went to, one of mum's friends' party. So we were just sitting there and I just was singing along because my mum does line dancing. So I knew some of the songs from what Matt was singing to the line dance that mum does. And um, yeah, so I just was singing along. And so she stuck it in my face because she saw me singing and then um, Matt worked with me for a little while and I, she, um, Lynn Manning was the president of the Casino Country Music Club and so I joined that and then she took me on the Talent Quest circuit and, um, and then I made friends and got more contacts and that's how I started. Where do you want to take it? As far as I can go. So you don't far see as it can any, go. you know, obviously you have the, the, you've got one song so much more, which is about your disability. Yep. You don't see it as any sort of restriction to you. Um, yes, I do see it as some restrictions. I mean, music industry is a very hard industry to get into. I know that. But I just find that people see me as my size, my disability and the way I look. And I think that most not mo all the time, but some of the time, I do feel like I'm a little bit discriminated against. And also with the stages not being accessible, um, it's hard for me to be accessing bigger stages. If they've got no ramps, well then I'm prone to have to sit on the floor to sing and not be on the stage. Do you get a real reaction sometimes when you do get up on the stage and then open your mouth and have a big voice? Yeah, well, I was um, singing with Kerry Kennedy um, in Sid at Tamworth, and um, this I He's sing. He's a great guy. I love Kerry. <laughs> He's amazing. Um, he sang. He wrote a song called "Glass of Wine," and it's a duet song. So every time I'm with him or see him, he always gets me up to sing that song. And I heard this lady go, "Oh, you better be good." And so, and I'm like, I just looked at her and I was like, okay. And then when I finished, she came over and apologised to me because she made an assumption that I wasn't going to be any good. And she said, as soon as you started opening your mouth and you started singing, she said, I actually had to eat my words because she said, you were amazing. Because that's one of the things I didn't want to focus on. The fact that obviously you have the disability, yeah, but you embrace it and break down a bunch of barriers by what you're doing? Well, I don't find that I should be any different to anybody else. Um, I'm still out there recording, I'm out there songwriting, promoting myself, I'm my own manager, my own PA lady. Um, so any time that I'm singing or any work that I do get is all me and my hard work of me sitting on the computer and filling out applications and emailing and doing what everyone else out there is doing. Um, the only difference I find is that I'm not packing up a car full of gear and driving Ks. And yeah, so it has doing, its advantages. <laughs> <laughs> doing like three hour gigs and stuff like that. But I am still traveling. I still can do as much as what I can and my limitations. Um, and yeah, so I don't feel that I am any different to any able-bodied person out there. Well, you are. You're putting out records. Tell us about, you got a couple of CDs out. I do. I've got two CDs and an EP, an original EP. Um, I record up at Watto Studio, Lindsay Waddington at Crosscut Records. And um, the first song, the first CD that I put out was just to get it on radio, just to see how I'd go, how I was perceived. And then that went well. And then that, per that 
financed my second one and so then I recorded the second one and then I started doing songwriting and I wrote so much more with Luke O'Shea which I love him he's an amazing guy and um, and then that kind of opened up doors for me with that song and then I just progressed songwriting and what actually started my songwriting was my cousin was getting married and we were really really close growing up and so I wanted to give her something personal for her wedding and so I wrote her a poem about our life and how close we were and all, all that and um, and so that poem led to a song and then that song led to another song and it just progressed from there. Has music opened doors for you? Um, yeah well it has it's helped me through so many of my hospital stays and um, like pain if I got really bad pain I'll put music on to kind of distract me from the pain and music has just been a saviour. Okay I've got to ask this is our over the piano but we, it's our over the bonnet segment. Do you like cars? I do like cars. I'm a Holden <laughs> girl, which oh, is no. sad that they're gone. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm in, into cars and speedway and supercars and oh, yeah. Who's your favourite driver? Um, I'd have to say Tanda. Oh, really? Yeah. He's the one that everyone loves to hate, but he's got a job these days at Triple Eight, I see. Yeah. What do you prefer, speedway, supercars? What's your favourite? Um, probably, oh, I don't know, it's much of a muchness. Speedway, I was brought up on Speedway. My dad was actually a Speedway driver. And so um, I used to go to all Speedway events, even though I'd go and sleep. But <laughs> because the noise and all that used to put me to sleep. But um, oh, yeah, I just, the Speedway is just, yeah, I think dirt. <laughs> <laughs> dirt and grubby and grimy and the, the smell and all, oh, yeah. Like us out in the country. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank for you for out having in the country, me. Over the bonnet, over the piano. Thank you.